I am blessed and choose to raise my standard. Climb your sycamore. This is the story of Zacchaeus, that small guy who wanted to see Jesus. Let's read it. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was a wealthy man. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So, he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. If I have cheated anyone in the least, I pay him back fourfold. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is the son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Be content with what you have, but never with who you are. One of our greatest enemies as human is contentment. Wait, I'm not saying we should not be satisfied with what we have and grateful with who we are. There is such a thing as being grateful for both the good and the bad and being contented with the abundance around us. I am talking about progress. It is wired in our human brains that we need to constantly change for the better. We do not just change because change per se is something we do not even need to decide on. When it comes to personal improvement, it does not come automatic. It is a decision we need to make. The good thing is we have the natural propensity for improvement. Real joy is found in progress. When we make progress, we become truly happy. Our first mission is to become the better version of ourselves. We are on our way to God's kingdom. The journey will either be enjoyable or burdensome, depending on the choices we make. So here are the 10 ways to a new standard. 1. Change starts with the end in mind. Vision becomes more effective when we determine not only the things we should stop doing, but also the new things we would like to involve ourselves with. The end in mind should be compelling, something that will give you sleepless nights. You are not just simply motivated to move forward, but it allows you to feel this hunger inside of you. That it gives you no choice but to crave for something more than you are receiving. It is good to realize that we humans have minds wired towards eternity. That is our ultimate vision. Everything we do is ordained towards that final goal, life eternal. To be idealistic while you keep in touch with reality. You are designed in such a way that if you want to improve, you will always have the ability to do so. Every seed has the potential to become a mighty oak tree. You are that seed. Ask yourself what is ideal and this should give you a strong reason to continue doing what you started on. When you have a strong reason to fulfill your vision, you will have enough motivation to follow through when things do not go as you expect them to be. The ladder that leads to the pearly gates is neither long nor short. But one thing is sure, it will take you a lifetime, a birth, and a death experience to get there. 3. Focus on what you can become 
as you learn to deal with the type of person you are at the moment. Focusing on the end result will direct you in every move you make. Spend more time by looking where you are heading and not where you do not want to go. When you become hungry, obsessed, restless about something, you are not far away from the materials you need to quench your hunger. Just keep on reviewing your vision and feel your hunger every day. 4. Do more than what you do. Isn't it absurd that people wonder why they are not getting new results while they do the same things as before? Do something more than usual. Climb a sycamore tree, if you may, as the case did. Do something more than the ordinary. Get out of your routine and grab new opportunities. Try whatever is necessary, but do it with caution. Use money as a form of energy. Use it to empower you. It's neither good nor bad. Do not allow it to take control of your life. That is if it is the only thing that matters. In the end, what will matter the most are the things you did to improve people's lives. The things you kept for yourself are they that you will lose while the things you have given away in love are they that you will bring in the light to come. 5. Decide to raise your standard. When you decide that something is an absolute must, you will find a way. When you raise your standard, you engage in a new chapter of your life. When you raise your standard, your life will never be the same again. There are moments in our life that will make us shift from should to must. What used to be an option has now become an obligation. We commit to do something that will eventually become part of who we are. Once something becomes part of our identity, it does not take too much willpower for us to do it consistently. As human beings, we absolutely follow through on who we believe we are. Our actions would naturally follow from the definition we impose upon ourselves. Now we begin to appreciate the words from the book of Genesis. God created man in his image and likeness. Our true character is to be Godlike. We will never find true and lasting happiness until we start to connect to our true nature. Many of our limitations are actually self-imposed. We adapt to certain mechanisms in order to handle failure and frustrations, but often we leave the self that is not ours. Doing things repeatedly will allow us to assume a particular identity that becomes part of our nature. At some point in our life, we say things like, this is the real me, and then leave who we believe we are. In the end, we realize that it is not the things we acquire that gives us lasting happiness. It is by becoming the true version that our Creator intended us to be that will give us eternal joy. 6. Trace from the past the sources of your present standards and other delimiting beliefs. Habits are not formed overnight. Our sets of standards now can be traced as far back as from our childhood years. Our attitude, good or bad, was shaped by the people we met and experiences we had as we grow older. The good news is we can always have new and fresh perspectives in life. We can relearn what we miss and we can unlearn the bad habits we form. 7. Define yourself in a new and better way. You need to be aware of your own definitions of yourself. Know your limits, but at the same time, know what else you can do. Usually, you can do more. You can always expand if you want to. 
If animals can adapt, you can do better. Have a better definition of who you can become, not just what you think and others think you are. 8. Consider your challenges as opportunities to grow. You do not only find good reasons to change for the better. But as you have decided to improve, be prepared for difficulties and see them as opportunities for growth. You do not only find good reasons to change for the better. As soon as you make the decision to reframe who you are, challenges will start to set in. It's always that way. That is why you need to have a strong reason for a real transformation to transpire. You need to have something that will force you to raise your standard. 9. Back up your self-definition with self-expressions. Start to find a good reason to change. When you identify yourself in a new way, your life will change. You will start to habitually do something you never did before. Identity is one of those that if you learn how to reshape, will change your life. Raising one's standard is tantamount to experiencing transformation, new life. Back up your standard with daily routines that you will repeatedly and persistently do. All great results in our life are coming from these little things that we consistently do. Success doesn't happen overnight. Good relationships are not acquired in an instant. It is these little seeds of good deeds we plant every day that give us good results in the long run. 10. Act like the person you envision yourself to be. You do not achieve your dreams in one day. It all starts by making every single day as your waking up day, the day you stop dreaming and start working. Now that you are fully aware of your vision of the end you want to achieve, you can already act the part of that person you decide to become. Be born again. Jesus said to Zacchaeus today, salvation has come to this house because this man too is the son of Abraham. When Jesus meant, what Jesus meant was this, finally, my old friend Zach, you became the person God wants you to be. Those of us who believe we're all like Zacchaeus. If there is one thing that I want to improve in myself and I'm capable of doing, what would it be? If there is one thing that I can do for my family and I know it is needed, what would it be? When I see progress in me and I am able to help in the progress of people, how does that make me feel?